Both are bad. Uh, if you look at the uh, U.S. Uh, trade uh, tension with China, I think it will create uh, uh, slower growth in the economies around uh, you know, the region also, and it will affect the oil prices. And oil prices is very important for the GCC. So um, it's going to affect uh, different sectors. You have the stronger, oil, uh, stronger dollar. It will affect also real estate in the, in the region because we're pegged to the dollar. Again, uh, you have slower growth in terms of the economies, which will create um, um, uh, wealth distraction. Uh, uh, and then again, uh, you will have uh, lower uh, businesses in terms of the airlines, in terms of the uh, port system, because trades will uh, start to kick in. Geopolitical issues is, again, uh, another uh, big uh, impact. We don't... Uh, and we don't we cannot quantify the risk uh, at this stage because it's not clear uh, but uh, if let's assume um, let's assume uh, there is something really major happening in the region we would say uh, the global economies will be uh, in a different situation we would expect a, a recession globally we saw the incident that occurred in the uh, off the coast of uh, the UAE in the, mm. in the the Gulf of Oman in the Strait of Hormuz with regards to the attack on the vessels. Yes, um, Saudi Arabia said two of its own vessels were impacted. What probability do you give now the the the, the chance of a, a further escalation here? And how are you reading the risk of a potential conflict between Iran and the United States? Is this something that investors really need to be considering at this point? Of course, um, I don't see uh, both parties will uh, uh, take more actions i think there will the tension is already there for a long time between uh, the us and iran and also to some extent between the iranians and the gcc countries however i don't see um, the, the 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 issue will escalate more than that uh, it will remain uh, uh, as tense but again, uh, this is a high risk and uh, investors should watch. Matt also has a question for you. Yeah, yeah hi Tariq. Thanks very much for joining us. Uh, we've been talking a lot today about the MSCI inclusion of uh, Saudi Arabia in its emerging market index. Yes, we knew this from earlier in the year, uh, but it's been revealed that 30 stocks from Saudi Arabia will be included. Uh, how hungry do you think global investors are for a slice of Saudi Arabia. Of course, we had the Aramco bond issue, which was heavily oversubscribed, but now 30 stocks and the weighting on the MSCI uh, Emerging Markets Index when it comes to Saudi Arabia, a bit over 1.4%. Uh, so do you see significant inflows into that fund? And just, I guess, anecdotally, how hungry are people to get into the Saudi market? I think uh, the opportunities in Saudi is, is massive, as you said. Um, you, you're going to start with 1.4. It's going to increase to 2.7 uh, in August because it's, uh, it's uh, two phases for the MSCI. You have the FTSE and the uh, Dow Jones S&P already upgraded. So you have uh, uh, passive investors who already uh, took positions in, in, those, country, in those companies. Uh, you can see Sabic has already 2-3% uh, foreign ownership. Rajhi is around 6%. So investors are buying uh, for two reasons. Uh, it's a significant uh, weight also for the AEM. It's going to be within uh, uh, Saudi and the UAE and Qatar. Uh, it will be around 5%. So uh, you, you cannot disregard uh, that, uh, that weight. At the same time, you have a huge uh, spending coming in, into Saudi and lots of reforms. So you have a fundamental story behind it. Uh, however, I do see uh, two uh, concerns at this stage. You have the the risk now in terms of the US uh, uh, China trade which has uh, affected all investors in terms of uh, outflow on the stock market globally which would affect also passive investors to exit some of their positions uh, at the same time you have uh, a priced in situation uh, to a certain extent uh, the price earning ratio for Saudi is around 17 times which is very, very close to the Indian and the Chinese market uh, I would say there will be uh, um, uh, sell uh, the news uh, uh, in, uh, shortly.